Mr. President, unfortunately, we just saw the senator from Vermont object to a compromise solution negotiated by Senator Toomey and Senator Lummis that would have mitigated some of the harm from the devastating new regulations on cryptocurrency in this so-called infrastructure bill. Because the senator from Vermont raised that objection, the status quo right now is these new regulations are going into effect and billions of dollars of value are going to be destroyed. Right now today, about 106 million people are using cryptocurrencies around the world, according to at least one recent report. The average annual income in the United States for a blockchain developer is $136,000. That represents a steady career, a good income for someone to own a home, to raise a family, to live, live a good and comfortable life. And Texas is helping lead the way. Texas is taking the lead this past year as a major hub for cryptocurrency businesses and is even being hailed as the cryptocurrency capital. But all of this is under threat. Regulatory uncertainty is the number one barrier to blockchain adoption, according to 48% of respondents in a recent report. And they're right to be worried. The current bill widens the definition of broker. Those who would have to collect information on cryptocurrency cons consumers and report this information to the IRS. It would force every single participant in the cryptocurrency structure to operate as a financial institution, which would mean they would have to provide consumer information to the IRS, even if they don't have access to that information. This overly broad definition of the word broker will block rapid innovation in cryptocurrencies and it will endanger the privacy of many Americans in cryptocurrencies. This is wrong. So I applaud my colleagues for trying to find an incremental approach. Unfortunately, because the senator from Vermont objected, that incremental approach hasn't been adopted. So let's exercise a brief, shining moment of common sense. And let's recognize if we've gathered all 100 senators in this chamber and ask them to stand up and articulate two sentences defining what in the hell a cryptocurrency is, that you would not get greater than five who could answer that question. Given that reality, the barest exercise of prudence would say we shouldn't regulate something we don't yet understand. We should actually take the time to try to understand it. We should hold some hearings. We should consider the consequences. We shouldn't destroy people's lives and livelihoods from complete ignorance. My amendment's very simple. It doesn't add anything new to this bill. It just strikes these provisions. It says, look, let's not do this till we know what we're talking about. Let's be cautious. Let's be reasonable. Let's not be the number one economic developer for the Communist Party of China by sending cryptocurrencies overseas to our competitors because we've made it impossible for them to succeed here. Accordingly, Mr. President, I ask unanimous consent that, the, that notwithstanding adoption of substitute amendment number 2137, that the Cruz Amendment number 2466 be agreed to. Is there objection?